once again, we're going for the green. Martha Teichner has the story of a very different sort of garden that towers above all the rest. What is it glowing in the dark? Not an office building. An art installation? No, those are rotisserie lettuce plants going around and around inside. It's a vertical farm in the middle of downtown Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson has a four month growing season. And so we really wanted to extend that. What we had was this plot of land, 30 feet wide by 150 feet long. That's not very big for a farm. <laughs> Architect Nona Yahya is one of the founders of Vertical Harvest, which opened in 2016. So we decided, well, what if we go up? Could we make more food? This little tenth of an acre plot produces 100,000 pounds of produce a year and not just lettuce. There's snow outside on the mountain and we're still producing tomatoes for our community. And all kinds of microgreens. This is our edible flower program. This is kind of a little bit of our Willy Wonka part of the tour where you never know what you're gonna get. Mmm, those are really good. Peppery, right? Ooh, I like those. Vertical farming is possible because LED lighting has gotten cheaper and more efficient. The plants need very little water. They don't live in soil. They're fed solutions of nutrients, but practically no pesticides. What is the potential for vertical farms? I think they can achieve 100% food coverage for urban populations. In 2010, when now retired Columbia University professor Dixon de Pommier wrote this book and coined the phrase, Vertical farms were all but non-existent. By 2026, vertical farming is expected to be a $10 billion a year industry worldwide. Can vertical farms answer the need in food deserts? Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, if there's no vertical farm there, put one there. Boop. Vertical Harvest has just broken ground on a much larger facility near Portland, Maine, the first of 10 in the planning stages for cities around the country. We're never going to replace traditional agriculture, but we sure can innovate to supplement it. And then back to the idea of what local means. From farm to fork, we deliver our product within 24 hours. So instead of being trucked a thousand miles or so from Mexico or California, in Jackson, Wyoming, produce takes a two mile van ride to Whole Foods, where it gets pride of place. Vertical Harvest has also redefined Jackson's notion of who can be a farmer. 19 of its 43 employees have mental or physical disabilities. I found my cream job. Meet Tim McLaurin, here with his proud dad. We are champions here at the greenhouse. Tim's dad has watched his son thrive at Vertical Harvest. Why was it important for you to have this job? It was so that I could actually feel appreciated. Amanda McFarland suffered a brain injury. Vertical Harvest is like a family. Here, at a new kind of family farm, feeding a community.